unbelievable what the Nittany Lions have done in the first half. Average score at the half, 31 to 3. But here today in Champaign, they're scored on first with Illinois leading. Now let's see if the Nittany Lions and Kerry Collins can come alive. Kajana Carter goes in motion to the far side. Collins rolls away from him. Intercepted by Washington at the 34. Almost the same pass that he just about picked off a short time ago. Illinois with a first down inside the 25. See, what he's trying to do is throw the ball with underneath coverage. And the receiver in front of the underneath coverage is not holding him, and he's allowed to drop back. He's going to sprint to the left of your screen. He throws. Now, see, underneath coverage, it picks it up. See him dropping? They need flare control in front of him, meaning another receiver in front of him to allow that ball to be thrown in that zone. The ball at the Nittany Lion 23-yard line. Now, another golden opportunity for Illinois in the first quarter. But they must take advantage of their opportunities in this football game. Dothert again running splendidly today. This is as hard as he has run all year. They have some real nice red zone passes. I watched them work on it in, in practice Thursday, Brent Neffer down in here. Watch out for Mr. Dilger. Second down and four, and the Illini line up in double tight. There's Dothert again pounding to the 11-yard line. This is some running performance by number seven. Ty Dothert, he's a sophomore out of Houston, Texas, and the Nittany Lions didn't expect, I gotta tell you folks, I'm not sure that the coaching staff of Illinois expected this today. Oh, well, they didn't. In talking to him, they were so concerned about the, the health of the offensive line, the two tackles playing banged up, the left guard playing backed up, and right now, the right tackle, Mike Serez, number 54, is coming off the ball and blocking a very good defensive end in Jeff Perry, number 82. Was well, first and 10 at the 11 yard line. Dothard, big holes behind the center. Dothard to the one yard line. See what they're doing right now is running right up inside and running off the nose guard. They were in an odd defense that time, and he cut back. The offensive line came off the ball really nice, got a little movement. They got a little movement here, but the nose guard went this way, and he cut behind him. See, so he got that move, got the slant. Good block by Derek Allen, 64. Blocks Gilheiser. He's advancing the ball to the end zone. Sixty-three to three. Well, the one thing Landry is doing, they're just keeping the ball in Douthert's hands. Up over the top. I don't think he got it. And then get up in the air. There's the fullback going through there. And he's get up over the top, but good penetration there by the defense. Let's see if they come right back with him. He's had the hot hand. They keep the ball in Johnson's hand. Six and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Brian McCabe, number 43, into the backfield with Douthert. Johnson on a roll now. He's got a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Illinois. Ken Dilger. was a, a naked play, meaning the backs, everybody go one way. The quarterback comes out all by himself. He'll come to the right side now. Tight end blocked, held, then released all by himself. Todd Atkins, 58 forces. Nobody covers him. Linebacker coverage, he blew it. Richardson. Builds a 14-0 lead on the Nittany Lions of Penn State, who have to be shocked at this first quarter start. 
taking another look at this one. Again, this is so tough on defenses, college and pro. You get all action one way, all action this way. Now, he'll block and hold and then sneak out late. Boy, that's tough. It breaks the discipline of a defense. See, they're blitzing, they're gambling, and nobody over there. They just said, go ahead and throw it. If we don't get to you, you've got one. They didn't get to it. There's Greg Landry, the offensive coordinator, does a lot of innovative things for college football. We've seen him do a number of different things over the last two years here running the offense.